Portland Meat Collective and other organizations. Her training amateurs and aspiring backyard butchers to raise and kill rabbits for their flesh and fur. They are saying that it is humane. This is what it looks like. Just put them in there, pull them down, dislocate the head. So this goes on the neck, and then you step on that, oh. and so now they're unconscious, they're pretty much dead. Bravo. And then I'll just slice right here, and then I'll just let them bleed. Here comes our other rabbit. He's not a great match for my mittens, but Papa is going to dispatch him. Is may your la next life be better than your last. May your blood nourish the soil, even as your flesh will nourish our bodies. And as your spirit departs, take with it our message of gratitude. You can. And he's done. Um, rabbits, the inspection issue there is that you don't have to worry about it because there's not a huge dairy lobby or poultry lobby that keeps regulations on rabbits moving forward. So this is state of the art and totally legal, believe it or not. If they weren't stunned here at this point, they'd be squealing and doing chin ups and jumping around and causing all sorts of trouble. Deer, anything game, it's uh, done, done the same way. Rat, anytime you go to a skinned animal, it becomes very, very sanitary because you take the skin off and everything else underneath is clean. You don't have any hot water or scalding or picking or anything like that to do to the, the actual event. Of, if they weren't stunned here at this point, they'd be squealing and doing chin ups and jumping around and causing all sorts of trouble. Rabbits are often crowded into small cages, much like hens are crowded into battery cages on factory farms. The methods of rabbit slaughter shown in this video, though commonly used, are prohibited in Canadian facilities, and the American Veterinary Medical Association warns that they may not cause instant loss of consciousness thus subjecting rabbits to horrific suffering. Together, we can put an end to this happening in our community. Open your heart and widen your circle of compassion today.